Now let's see some of the SAP standard reports. So here, like as I explained, SAP has provided many reports in different models like material management, sales, finance, etc. So we'll check one report like MM60, which is used to display the material list. And then we'll also check some other reports like sales order report or purchasing document report. To check those reports, we have to log in to our SAP system and then we can enter the transition code in the command field. So once you log into SAP system, if you know the transition code, so you can directly enter T code here at the bottom at the command field. Or second option, if you know the proper path, then you can go through this SAP menu option. Like here, you can expand the logistics, we can go to material management, let's say purchasing, master data. Okay, like this step by step. We have to expand the folder and then we can like execute the required transition code from the list. This is one option. Second example, I want to check the metal list and I know transition code is MM60. We can directly enter the T code here, MM60 and press enter. This T code is used to display the material list. So this is called selection screen. On the selection screen, we can enter our selection criteria. Okay, And those are known as the select options. Here, either we can enter single value, we can give the range, or if you want some other filter criteria, so what we can do, we can click here on the multiple selections and you can enter all the required values here. So let's initially, I will execute the report as it is. So based on the selection criteria, once we execute, system selected data from different table and you can see the output in this way. So this is the output of the ALV reports. Those are the different columns we can see in the output based on the program. And after getting the output, for like example, if you want to sort this list based on the price and I want the lowest price first. So what we can do, select the column and click on sorting ascending order. The system will display all the record in the ascending order based on the column we have selected. Similarly, here we have option to sort in the descending order. Like this also we can do. This option we can use for sum. For example, I want to see the sum of this price. So you can select this and just click on this sum column. So at the bottom, we can see sum in the different currencies. We can also add a filter. Take example here, like I have different material types. Okay, SALB, SROH. So I want to see all the articles only SROH. So what we can do, right click here, click on set filter or second option, select this column and click here on the set filter. Both will work. So once we apply any filter, system will display only those records. Here we also have the functionality to download the report output in the Excel format. But I just right click and here we can select a spreadsheet. We get different format here in which format we want to download this data. Okay, so based on our requirement, we can select the required format and we can download the data into the Excel file. So our, all the data will easily get in the Excel output. So those are the common features available in the LV reports. And now this is the simple output. Okay. So the example, this is now we want to see the detail of this article material. So what we can do, we'll simply double click. So once we double click, here system is calling a separate transition code. Okay. So those type of reports are called as the interactive report. This means that we are 
navigating from one report to a different report. So this type of reports are called as an interactive LV reports. Okay. Now, the example instead of like after getting the output and here I have set a filter. This we can also do on the initial screen. The example in the material type, I want to set same filter. Okay, so in the output system will display only those records. So like this, we can filter the data by entering those details on the selection screen. And now, as the SAV standard reports, if you want to see the program behind this transition code, so what we can do, click on system, click on status, and here we can see the program name. This is the SAP standard program. Double click here and you can go to the program flow and check the details. You can also change the font size from here. For example, I want to change the font size to 10. Okay, so here we can see the program flow, how the program is written. You can analyze just for knowledge purpose. You are select query based on that the material is getting selected. Okay, so this is one option to check the program or the SAP transition code. Or second, if we know the T code, then go to SC93. Here, enter MM60 and click on display. MM60 and click on display. From here also, we can check the program. Now let's have a look at the other T code. Let's say VA05N or ME2M. The second T code I'm explaining is the VA05. So this T code is used to display the list of sales order. So here the difference is we can also see the radio button. In the first report, there was a checkbox based on our requirement. We can also have the radio button on the screen. Execute. So this is another LV report which is used for the sales order display. Now in the previous session, in the previous report M60, once I double click here on any record, system display the other transition code. So here we have one more option. Suppose we click here. Okay, I think this option is not there. So here also same will work. If we double click here, this will call the detail screen. So it's sort of change mode. Okay, and let's see one more report as the ME2L. This purchasing document per supplier. And here we have to select the scope of list. Let's say I want to see output in the LV format. So once we execute, see right for we can see the data and by default is like sorted based on the purchasing document number. Again, we can see different columns in the output. Okay, so those are the SAP standard LV reports. Like this, SAP has provided thousands of reports in each module. Before closing this session, let's have a look at the well, last transition code that is FBL fine. This is finance transition code. So here, this is like customer line item display. This report is used to display the finance data. So here, like on this selection screen, we can see different radio buttons. We can also see here like check boxes. So main difference between check box and radio button, like in radio button, we can make a group. This means that suppose here we have a group of three radio button. So we can select only one radio button at a time. Okay. But if we have check box, so we can select multiple to include all those in the selection criteria. Okay. And selection screen, those type of options are called as select options where we have the option to enter from and to value. You can also enter multiple selection here 
and second option here is known as a parameter. This is called a parameter because here we don't have option for from and to and also we don't have option to enter the multiple selection. So those type of fields are known as parameters where we can enter only single value and those are called as a select options. Okay, so let me just execute this report as it is. Okay, so there is no data in the report, but those are the SAP standard reports which we can use in the real time scenario. So apart from this, like the example, some data we required as per the business requirement. Okay, and we don't have those data in SAP any standard reports. So what we can do with the own requirement, we can develop our own custom LV reports that all concepts, how to develop a report from scratch, we'll learn in the upcoming session. Thank you.